हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी स्टैट प्रो बेसिक टू एडवांस फुल कोर्स ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस इज डे टू इन डे टू वीडियो वी लर्न हाउ टू एनालाइज ए सिंगल स्टोरी बिल्डिंग एंड हाउ टू मॉडलिंग ए सिंगल स्टोरी बिल्डिंग बाय जीयूआई ग्राफिकल यूजर इंटरफेस एंड स्टैट प्रो एडिटर तो दिस इज ए सिंपल वन रूम स्टोरी दिस बिल्डिंग हैव फोर कॉलम एंड फोर बीम एंड ईच कॉलम है फिक्स सपोर्ट दिस इज बीम ओके इफ यू कन्वर्ट दिस सिंगल स्टोरी इंटू स्ट्रक्चर ड्राॅइंग तो दिस लुक लाइक this is single story look like this frame we have four beam beam 1 beam 2 beam 3 beam 4 and four column column 1 2 3 4 each column have fixed support and the span of the uh, shorter beam is 4 meter and the longer beam is 6 meter and the height of the story is generally 3 meter and the size of beam is this and the size of column is this and we assign two types of load one is dead load and second is live load the important thing is how to model this frame of a single story building by gui and by stat pro editor first we create model by the help of stat pro okay before we start stat pro editor some important basic knowledge we need before we start editor the so first of all we when we create a model using the with the help of stat pro editor we have to know the coordinates means we know that the stat pro coordinate system is this x this is y and this is z if this joint is this joint is origin then the coordinate of this point is 0 0 and 0 this direction is x it means coordinate of this support is 6 meter comma 0 comma 0 and this is the z direction it means coordinate of this is 0 x is 0 y is 0 and z is 4 and coordinate of this joint is 0 so it is not 0 6 Six meter is x, y is zero, and z is four. Okay. Uh, uh, if you you see here, the how many before bef before sorry before start. Uh, uh, the edit uh, start provider. We know that we require the coordinate system, and before this, we one more important thing. in a stat pro when you draw a beam the beams looks like this this is node and this is member okay member each node have a id means one this is node two and each member have id this is member number 1 so if uh, in uh, stat pro the beams look like this and column look like this so if you create one column you have two nodes if you create one beam you have two nodes okay node number 1 node number 2 and beam number 1 if this both column and beam in one drawing then this is the node number 3 this is node number 4 and this is member number 2 we require the coordinate system of coordinates of this joints 
and number of this joint. If you uh, know the coordinates of this member, you can easily uh, draw or create model in STAD editor. Okay. Let's start. Uh, we can rub this. This paint software is very good. Okay, coordinate of this joint. Uh, before this, I tell you if you create this model in the Stat Pro, you can see he is look like this. Here is a joints, not circular black dots. Okay. This is or and this is coordinate system X, Y, and Z. Let's start provide joint numbers. Rem one column remaining. This is okay. Provide nodes number. This is node number one. This is two. This is three joint. Fourth joint. 5th joint, 6th joint, 7th joint and 8th joints. For the, uh, this frame have 8th joint. Now member number, this is member number 1, member number 2, member number 3, member number 4, member number 5, member number 6, member number 7, member number 8. Okay. Now we provide coordinates. If this is the origin, then the coordinates of this 0, 0, 0 and coordinate of this uh, 5, 0, 0 x, y, z and coordinate of this uh, 6, 4, 0 and coordinate of this 0, 0, 4. Okay, okay, mm, here something wrong. Here coordinate system is x is 6 meter, comma y is 0, x, y, z and z is 4. This is. Now you know the coordinates of the base dots. It is very easy to find out the coordinate of upper because y only change. If you want to coordinate of this joint, so this joint coordinate is 6, same the bottom and only change y is 3 and 4, same here 5, 3 and 0, same here 0, comma 3 and comma 4 and here 0 comma 3 comma 0 only y change so we, when we create a model by the help of stat provider we require this knowledge now we easily create this model okay we save this now go to the stat pro okay when we start stat pro by the double click and go to the select IS code and go to the new project click create date 2 and the units meter and kilometer next you have to select stat editor finish and now open stat editor this is the stat editor where we create a model by using the command close this you can go and open this editor from here also ok Okay, here stat space we select the when we click on the new project we select the space type stat. Uh, this is the engineer information we later discussed. Input 79 means we correct in this direction. We type in this direction 79 character and in this direction uh, uh, unlimited. Okay, we provide we write a command or program between the 79 and finish. Okay. Let's open the drawing. 
when we click on the drawings or any other software is not open because my stat pro editor is open as when stat pro editor is maximized mm, you mm, you have not able to maximize the other software so you go to tools sorry file and uncheck this topmost now you can okay this is the first joint coordinates is 0 0 so we type here joint coordinate enter 0 space 0 space 0 okay we type this joint coordinate 0 space 0 space 0 comma is not uh, provide you can only space now save by this icon and close the editor you can see in this stat pro uh, he asking for uh, units close now the joint is create but not visible for visible you have a shortcut key shift plus k now the joint is visible if you want to the number of this joint the shortcut is shift plus n this is the joint number one now again go to the editor okay one more thing uh, i am missing you have to provide joint number here one space the one is the joint number and zero 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 is the coordinate if you not provide one is automatically take one like, but after that is uh, give you error okay now we create a second second joint is this this is the first we have to create base joints okay first we have to create base joint these now we create to uh, we um, running like the con joints numbering okay joint number two joint number three joint number four go to the other enter joint number two joint number two coordinate is zero 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 four joint number three coordinate is six zero four and joint number four is six zero and zero okay and joint number five this is joint number five uh, joint number five is zero three zero joint number six is zero three four joint number seven is six three four and joint number eight is six three zero now save the editor and close and check the joints okay joint is create one two three four five six seven now we have to create members okay this member this member number is one and he's connected to joint number one and two we only write in the programming joint number member number one connect to the one and five okay okay one and five go to the editor right here member incidents enter member number one connect to join number one and five save close check member number one connect to the join number one and five if you press shift plus b this is a member number okay member number two who is the member number two this is connect to two and four member number two connect to two and four same member number three connected to three and seven three and seven member number four connect to the four and seven seven sorry four and eight member number five connect to five and six member number six connect to six and seven member number seven connect to seven to eight and member number eight connect to five to eight okay this is the first column of the numbering is the member numbers 
and the second column and third column is the nodes number like number one is the member number one connected to node number one to node number five okay okay one more question arise when we type this uh, <laughs> command this is the long process we can easily draw or create this model by the help of gui but why we create by editor because stat pro editor is very helpful when you uh, do very big projects we uh, we cannot uh, create model by using the help of stat pro editor but we editing or remove error by the help of stat pro editor if you create uh, model with the help of gui graphic user interface automatically programming uh, app here appear if you create this model by gui this program is automatically here so you can edit easily that's why we learn stat pro editor and when you go uh, for interview in any company the company ask an interview about the stat pro editor that's why it's very important okay we have saved this and check okay one miss uh, miss error the member number two connect to the two and six not two and four okay now you go to editor member number two connect to zero to five zero to five okay not four sorry sorry member number two connect to zero to six zero to six okay zero to six hmm. some error member number two okay i'm change from here not have to change here Okay, member number two, two to six. Okay, modeling is complete. Next step is provide support. In this video, we only create model and assign supports by the help of editor and loading and the giving the property. Uh, we discuss later by the help of Stat Pro editor. Okay, we require fixed support and where join number one. Join number one, two, three, four. Here we require to give fixed support. Join number one to four. Okay. Go to the editor and type S U double P O R T support. Enter fix space one two four. Support types of support fix and provide one two four. Save and close. support okay. 2 3 4 first we write the node number then we type this type of support okay by this command you provide the support close and you check support is provide this is the v model we have to create by the GUI. Okay, now what we do, we delete this model and again create this model by the GUI. When you see uh, by GUI, you say this is very easily why we uh, create this model by the help of editor. We already discussed why the stat pro editor is important. Okay, now we select by this model by the control A and delete button in the keyboard. Okay, let's start. We create this model by the GUI graphical user interface. When you start a new project, you appear a grid here and your cursor is uh, uh, ready to create beams. Uh, you What you do? You click on the joint origin. Uh, and close the grid from here here is a one joint is created now you select this joint but we mm, cannot able 
to select this joint what the problem problem is that my cursor is beam cursor only beam uh, select by this cursor so first we select the node cursor this is a node cursor select the node cursor and go to this tool this is very important tool translation repeat tool click here and uh, move this tool from here so easily you see select the joints what we do we have to make a column 3 meter column in y direction ok so what we select select y direction how my, how uh, what is the spacing 3 meter and how much step only this joint jump to this joint only one step and we want to make a member also between these two, two joint so we select the link ok let's do it y 3 meter one step click on link okay. beam is column is generated now what we do we want to create a frame and this is spacing is 6 meter and direction is x ok and step is 1 again go to the this tool ok we want to create like this frame 6 meter spacing x direction so what direction we select x spacing 6 meter step 1 link when you click on the link also click on the open base because base is open only top member is connect x spacing 6 link base is open ok mm, what is this control z for undo first we have to select this member then ok x spacing 6 link open base ok this is the frame now we select the all frame again go to this tool uh, now we have to draw frame like this like this this is 4 meter so we select this red uh, frame and translate into z direction and 4 meter spacing so z direction 4 meter spacing link open base ok now the frame of a uh, single story building is created now we provide the supports go to the general and support when you click on the support support property is here and you click uh, here create button uh, already have sub s1 support this is uh, used to delete the support and s2 is support created by editor we delete the support delete now go to the create a window is appear select the fix tab add this is the support when you click on the support your mouse cursor automatically convert into node cursor press the control button and select the all nodes and here is four option for applying uh, this support to the joint first option is uh, saying if you select the joint the support only provide to the selected joint second option say if you select second option the supports provide to all nodes means it this 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 all eight joints if you select third option it means when where you click there is support is provide fourth option if you provide here number if we uh, provide here five space seven and assign it means this support only provide to the five and seven okay these are the four option we select uh, uh, first option because uh, the for all four joints are selected and assign the support is created ok now we select beam cursor the first uh, step creating model and support is done now second step uh, the properties properties beam and column are given rectangle beam and column so go to the property in general tab there are many options and one op top option is property go to the property then go to the left right side here a window click on define and select the shape of the uh, section uh, we have rectangular section uh, here we provide this cross section according to the problem 250 by 250 mm material concrete add then second property for column check 
300 by 300 to 300 by 300 add plus the f click on the first option this is the property of beam and select the cursor use cursor assign and click on the beam r1 means reference one this reference one property provide to the call beam now click on the column and click on column select the second property and click on the column properties define okay you see here one column left from the property oh yeah because uh, I want to see some. I want to uh, tell you something. That's why we left this column. If you go to the this render view and you check the all column in beam have property some cross section, but uh, this column have not because we don't provide property to this column. So we again provide property to this column. Now check the render view. Sorry, render view. Okay the property is done the next is the load go to the load and definition after this go to this option load case detail and click to the add button add here you select the type of load dad title same is dad and add and again click select the live load and title is live and click on add close now we have two load case but not load on case now we provide load in the dead load first of all what is the dead load dead load is the load that are permanent load the self aid is the dead load so we click on the dead load and again we click on the add button add this is the self aid direction y due to gravity direction is y self aid and minus means downward okay so we add this and close here you see the self aid is uh, showing but a red question mark showing this not assigned to the structure the so self aid we assign to the whole structure to so click on the self aid and click on assign to view and assign the self aid is provided now live load click on live load and add uh, here you see the there is many types of loads we want to provide a udl on this beam 2 kilo newton per meter square no 2 kilo newton per meter udl on the beams okay so go to the member load because these are the member and in member load you go to the uniform force and you provide w1 is minus 2 minus means downward and gy direction we later discuss uh, about these and add close here also question mark because this is not provided to the beam and assign to the use cursor and click on the beams the udl is assigned the model is done support is done properties is done load is done now go to the analyze and print all add close why we do this analyze all and we discuss this about the next video already the length of this video is too long and go to here analyze after you see the zero error zero warning done and you now you check the uh, uh, diagrams of res uh, result this is the bending moment in z direction this is the bending moment this is the shear force and this is the deflection of the structure uh, you can see this result in the form of table also this is the tables where you check the forces rotation displacement in the table form or you graphically you also check if you want to animation of this deflection go to the, this TV and ok again go to this and section deflection select now this is a very minor deflection that's why not say not see now you check the whole section deflection due to the live load if you change here live load to dead load this is the dead load deflection due to dead load this is the single story frame 
uh, we create model by the editor and with the help of GUI and we provide some basic load, dead load and live load and analyze. There are many things left we discuss in the next video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and like and also click on bell icon. Why bell icon? Please see watch my day one video. Thank you.